Ah! Ugh. Probably just some like stupid finger or toe. Either one I, you don't use. I would miss like my pinky toe the least. Right? Then it throws you off balance. Whatever. It's better than missing your so. hand. <laughs> I've never seen anyone be possessed in real life, but I used to play around with uh, black magic <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, I like to hold seances and like try to levitate my friends and Ouija board. And I'm pretty sure that I uh, communicated with some spirits. <laughs> no, but I, I never had one, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess the the final scene is my favorite by far. Right? It's it's just something that I've I've never seen in another movie before, and, and such a you know it's like an instant classic moment for some reason. Like the imagery is just so strong. I think the last scene, the last fight between the survivor and the demon incarnated in, um, and this monster, that's definitely for me the the best scene. I agree. It's my favorite scene in the movie. Hardest to shoot. I think, yeah. but most beautiful. I don't know, ask Betty. We, we're trying to figure it out, and actually right now we're talking with the producers to, to see if we come up with the, with the perfect follow-up story, so if we, if we do, there's definitely going to be another one. Thank you, first of all, for the nice compliment. Um, I think maybe being the junkie was actually more difficult. The... The um, makeup, playing a junkie, I mean, playing the demon was really hard, but actually when I was being evil, I mostly was just playing. And if you see, if you watch some of the behind the scene footage on the DVD, you'll see me laughing in between almost every take when I'm really being a hysterical demon. So that was sort of, that was fun. The, the hard part again was just being covered in blood and pus and dirt and mess go watch Evil Dead out on Blu-ray and shoot <laughs> like he's talking <laughs> <laughs>